Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and it's been a while that I did a Windows 10 What's New within one of the latest builds. Uh, today's build is all about 10547. It was released yesterday on Friday on September 18th. Uh, I turned on my virtual machine with my Windows 10 machine, and there was a, an update, so I pushed it out, and it's finally done. Uh, one of the things that I noticed off the bat, I was reading some... I was reading some information online, and it looks like on this build, you're able to disable this wallpaper. So let's log in. I'm actually using the three pin um, authentication <laughs> to log in. And uh, once you log in, uh, one of the things that I noticed off the bat is uh, it looks like the mic was changed. I don't know. You gotta, guys got to confirm this. I think the mic was changed, the overall look and feel of it. I think it was more like an oval shape, little circle. Uh, now it looks like more of a rectangle kind of feel. Uh, I also noticed that like, the store app has changed. You got a nice little white blue shadow in the background. That looks pretty cool. Um, let's go into the start. And a lot of the changes are inside the settings part, especially within the personalization stuff. So let's go to settings. And within settings, let's go to the personalization. And one of the one of the features that I told you off the bat was the lock screen. So they got the, gave us this option to show Windows background picture on the sign in screen. By default, it's turned on. So right now, if I turn it off and I, let's close this and I'm just going to log off and see how it looks. I want to show you guys how it looks, that option, what it does. Apparently, it doesn't remove this option, but it removes this option. So as you saw in the very beginning of the video, there's like a Windows logo and it disappears. So let me log back in and uh, continue. Uh, the next thing that I noticed on the build was uh, they added more tiles, like a third column. Uh, by default, this is one column and this is two. And if you go inside settings, and let's go again inside the personalization, and you go inside start, they gave us a nice little option to show more tiles. As you can see, they give us two columns. And if I enable this, Right here in the picture shows you it gave us an additional column. Another thing that I noticed within the new build is the mail and the calendar. Now, I'm only going to show you the mail for now. So, let's go to our apps and let's go to the M section. Let's go open up my mail. And within the mail, it looks like they gave us a nice little personalization option. So, I'm able to change this bright blue to something dark. Awesome. So, to get it to those options, let's click on the sprocket right on the lower left-hand side. And you go to personalization. And there you go. The, by default, it's on light theme. So if you change it to dark theme, there it goes. That's pretty awesome. You're also able to change the background to something else, which is pretty cool. If you don't want if you want it off, just turn it off. And you can also change the color of how everything looks and feels when something is highlighted. I'm going to leave it to blue because I like that color. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you, you're also able to do the same thing within your calendar app. So that's pretty cool. Now, the next thing that I noticed within uh, the new build, which is build 10547, uh, it looks like within the tablet mode, they changed it a little bit. They gave you more uh, features within the task view, letting you uh, snap stuff to the side. So that's pretty cool. Off the bat, when you start the tablet mode, it gives you this. See more to start. So you click on this. And, you know, it gives you a nice little side menu, which is like the start start screen, right? So let's click on a couple of things. Let's start my Xbox. I want to start my Xbox up. And once I start that up, let's also start, uh, let's start something else up. Let's start my mail app. And let's, uh, let's turn on the view. And within the view, as you can see, I'm able to just take it. And now I'm able to snap it to the side, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. Now, another thing that I noticed within the new build is photos, the app photos. Uh, they actually allows you to get into your OneDrive, uh, which is pretty awesome. So that means you don't have to, like, do a search. So let's open up. Let's go to all apps and let's go inside photo. Within photos, you guys want to go to folders. And inside folders, it automatically shows up OneDrive. So that means if you sign in with your OneDrive account and within your Windows 10 machine, it allows you to go inside and view uh, your pictures, which is pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Now, the last thing that I noticed within the new build is apparently Windows 10 is not updating the Windows apps within the Windows updates services. So what do I mean? So, you know, when we go inside settings and we go to updates and security, Windows updates provides all the updates. 
critical security, any applications that you have, it push it out here. For some reason, they're not pushing out Windows apps. So that means you actually have to open up your Windows Store app and go inside your profile and then go download and updates. Uh, when I did this the first time, I'll double click on this photo right here. Uh, when I did it the first time, I, I had a Microsoft Wi-Fi, which I've never actually seen this app before. So that's also new to me on this build. Uh, so let's go to all apps. And if you go inside the Microsoft M section, Microsoft Wi-Fi, and this application is new to me. I haven't played with it too much. And that's it, guys. That is the end of my what's new with the new latest build, which is build 10. 547 for Windows 10. Uh, if you guys notice anything new within the latest build or you're testing out the build, let me know at the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.